Hello YouTubers and welcome to another Disney Pixar Cars Diecast Review and today we're going to take a look at Doc Hudson, the judge and medical doctor of Radiator Springs. So before we get right into the review, let me discuss something. So Doc Hudson was not only one of the townsfolk of Radiator Springs, but was also one of the main characters in the first Cars movie. And before the first film, he he left he left the piston cup and tried to find a town where he could slow down and leave his racing days behind not not wanting to wanting to be recognized as a racer anymore he he went he decided to to get into a new paint job and new tires and even attended a doc Doctor Academy in Ornament Valley, and found himself and found a a road called Route 66, and met a British car named Philip, who who had broken down. And speaking of Philip, Philip was also from the Cars Made International Championship video game. And after repairing Philip, he said goodbye to Doc, and then carried on. And then he, and at last he found Radiator Springs, where he served himself as not only the the doctor, but also the town's judge. And and many many years later, he his racing days hadn't emerged if it weren't for a hotshot rookie race car named Lightning McQueen. When he and when lightning arrived on the scene by cause, causing the havoc Vic through town and also tearing up the main street with Bessie, he he ordered him to leave, but 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 overshadowed by a majority of the townsfolk, including Sally, he reconsidered having having lightning stay and sentenced him to fix the main road with Bessie. And after seeing, after seeing that Lightning didn't do a good job on the, on the road, he, he challenged him to a one-lap race around Willie's Butte, which he had, with, of which he had won. And all, and later, and the and the next day at Willie's Butte, Doc coached Lightning how to how to race on dirt and how to turn right to go left on dirt, which Lightning literally turned right and landed into a cactus patch, landed into another cactus patch. And then by the next day, Lightning stumbled upon his trophies which were his piston cups from his racing days, which Doc didn't want anyone to know him as a racer, so he kicked Lightning out. But his secrets were revealed when Lightning spread it to the other town's folk, which they never believed him. And having, when, when he saw that the Main Street was done and he and, see, and thought he Lightning had gone, he he didn't seem to mind one bit, but when he saw Lightning getting new white wall tires from Luigi and Guido, he was very he was very repulsed and decided to to call the papara the a crew a mob of paparazzi, inclu including Corey Turbowitz, and ordered Lightning to leave. And ended up being scolded at. Who, Corey also thanked Doc Hudson for the call. However, however, Sally had had scolded him by asking him, "Best for everyone or best for you?" With and when the other townsfolk went back to their their homes. Doc was left in the middle of Main Street wondering if he had made a mistake. 
Although, speaking of mistakes, I'm still wondering whether or not if it was selfish of Doc to kick Lightning out of Radiator Springs when he was actually trying to help the townsfolk, bringing it back on, bringing Radiator Springs back on the map. What do you guys think? Was it very selfish of Doc to kick Lightning out of Radiator Springs when he was actually helping the townsfolk bring Radiator Springs back on the map? Leave your thoughts in the comments down below. So, anyway, Doc Hudson knew that Lightning needed a crew chief, so he he pulled up a, a gang of crew from Radiator Springs, including Mater, who didn't get to say goodbye. And after that, he became Lightning's men, mentor and pupil. And he even and he even coached Lightning how to race on dirt the following year when when Lightning McQueen was preparing for a new Piston Cup season against the likes of Chick Hicks. And was even and Doc was even seen in Lightning's dream of the radiator of a race called the Radiator Springs Grand Prix. And and he also and he also he also helped the other townsfolk set up Lightning McQueen's new headquarters and met Philip again in, on the same year and they even had a uh, had a race along with Lightning and 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 Doc even also setting up his very own racing academy with Lightning as his as the instruct as the instructor against and even and was even up against Chick Hicks and his racing academy and eventually Doc's racing academy had won and 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 sometime between the race so the cars race arama video game and cars 2 Doc had died Doc Hudson had died Along, along with his voice actor Paul Newman, and the Pizza Cup was renamed in his honor and legacy. And he even appeared in flashbacks throughout Cars Three, he, with some of used and Paul Newman's used and unused recordings. And that, and that is it. So. Doc Hudson is so Doc Hudson is not only a 1951 Hudson Hornet which he is known by as the fabulous Hudson Hornet it, he was also voiced by Paul Newman by the late Paul Newman and also in the in some of the in two of the Cars video games of the video game series Main International and Racerama Corey Burton which he previously voiced Fletcher, a green British race car with a number three in the first film's video game. So now, let's get right into the review. Here we've got his friendly smile, along with his friendly facial expression, and his chrome silver gray grill, and the Hudson logo. Go. And and his one side view mirror and on the side we've got the word hornet with a silver stripe and a silver line and his white wall tires and and on the back no no license plate and his visible and his Blue, I believe that blue blob is the Hudson logo, and on the right side, similar design. I mean, oh, and an underneath the undercarriage, we it says Hudson Hornet, which is copyrighted by Hudson. Hmm. And that is it. So now let's pull up some of the other townsfolk of Radiator Springs. You got. Sheriff, Mater, 
Radiator Springs Lightning McQueen, Sally, Guido and Luigi, Ramon and Ramon and Flo, Red, Lizzie, Sarge, Fillmore, and Mac. And that is it. So, what do you guys think? Which townie of Radiator Springs is your favorite? And do you still remember Doc Hudson? Leave your thoughts in the comments down below. And if you have enjoyed this video, please give a thumbs up and subscribe. I hope to see you all guys next time for another review. So, goodbye now.